Susan Berkeley here from GreatVoice.com with a Happy New Year Inside VoiceOver e-newsletter. I hope you had a great celebration. It's so wonderful to be back and into the new year 2013 and all the possibility that that brings for you with your new life in VoiceOver. Whether you're restarting a stall career or this is a new venture for you in one of the 14 exciting niche markets, you came to the right place because I want to help you kick off the year with some of my best stuff. And can I share with you something that really made such a difference in my voiceover career that took me from a wannabe, I mean, I used to be a waitress working for a singing telegram company called Renta Yenta in New York City. Can you imagine? And I was a telemarketer selling deodorant crystals to funeral homes because I didn't know this secret that I'm going to teach you today. And so you ready? Here we go. It is you got to qualify your prospects. Not everybody is going to be interested or right for your voice or your demo. So when you get people on the phone and you do have to get them on the phone, you need to qualify them and determine who are the A's, the B's, the C's, and the D's. And let me explain what that is. And you're going to make notes. You're going to keep this in, you know, a computer database or even on a file card. I mean, I started with an index card for Pete's sake. You really don't need to get too complicated. So A prospects are people who are looking for voice talent right now. They're hot. B's have a project pending, but like in the next two weeks, a month from now, but they are on the runway to getting that job done. C's are gathering demos for their files and they're still good prospects. They're just not ready right now. And then like D's are, you know, nice people and E's are like, they're never going to be a paying prospect. So you just don't want to mess with anybody that's less than a C. And the thing you need to realize is that it is a moving parade because somebody can be an A, a C today and, or even a D and then move on up to an A and you don't know where they are until you ask them. So a great question to ask is, how often do you do voiceover work? And if they say, well, every day, well, what are they? They're probably like an A or a B, right? Uh, you can also say to them, do you ever have a need for my type of voice? Another good clue about whether or not they're looking. You know, some people only work with males or females or only foreign voice talent like we do here at the Great Voice Company. These are very important questions to ask. You can also ask, who are some of your typical customers? And if they say, well, banks and financial service companies or, you know, advertising agencies, you know that this is a company that's in gear. And then another thing that you can do to help you qualify your prospects is to set Google alerts so that you're, when they're in the news, when they're posting things, you should go to their websites, listen to their reels because production companies, just like you have a demo reel, so do production companies. So look, it's time for you in the new year to be less focused on you and your incredible voice and your talent and be more customer centric, customer focused. Get out there, start talking to people, start Googling people, start going on LinkedIn and finding out who the A's, B's and C's are and then put all your efforts into those top tier people and you are going to have an incredible year in voiceover. One way that I can really help you do that, by the way, is if you come to my voiceover boot camp, we're going to be in Clearwater, Florida really soon because it's cold up here in the Northeast in New York. We're going to go down to Clearwater, Florida, March 15th, 16th and 17th. I know seats are really selling fast for that. So all the information is right here on the website. Give us a call. We can clue you in and let you know how to join us. I look forward to working with you soon.